the actor that plays Paperboy on Atlanta is going to be Marvel's first gay superhero. Well, I'm not familiar with Atlanta like I should be, I guess. I never really watched it like that. Um, but I heard this news. Um... Uh, I'll, I'll show you who it is. Using just so, us just to so you pioneer a lot of this gay stuff, but okay. This is him. Yeah, I, I saw the, I saw his picture. Yeah, you never watched Atlanta? Not really, no. Good show. I mean, he pretty much plays like kind of the rapper slash kind of gangster drug dealer. Like, you know, he's he's like a like an up and coming rapper, but he's still like in the streets and he'll still like smack the shit out you. And right. So they took plays kind of a. They took kind of that. Tough guy character. They took that image, and now they're gonna turn him into a gay superhero. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Apparently, there's a kiss. But yeah. Yet people act like there's no agenda. Like, like Batwoman is now gay. Yes. Really? Yep. Batwoman is gay. Well, is it Batwoman or Batgirl? There's there's a Batwoman and there's a Supergirl. Yes. Um, Batwoman, look it up. Batwoman is gay. Well, the actress who's playing her no, is gay? No, her character. Her Batwoman gay. Oh. is gay. <laughs> okay, so this is a TV show. Yes. I think it's one of okay. those Pix 11 type joints, maybe? Uh, CW. CW, okay, yeah. And yeah, so the character is, you know, has, I guess, is married to a woman or some shit like that. I never watched it, but I heard about it. Um, why? <laughs> like, well, like... Ruby, well, Ruby Rose, okay, okay, so is this Ruby Rose? Ruby Rose, who mm -hmm. is, I believe, gay in real life, you know, she was in Orange is the New Black, Okay, uh, is playing Batwoman. Okay, okay, so that that's that's who's on the show on the D, uh, on the on the CW show. It's Ruby Rose, very 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 pretty, very pretty girl, uh, who's gay in real life. Okay, she could I be believe. gay in real life, but that don't mean the Batwoman has to be the character. Gay. Uh, well, there you go. So you got you already got gay superheroes. It's just like it's just overkill to me. Like, come on, this one's gay, that one's gay. Like, come on, like. But we say that they're not trying to like force feed this on us, like. But it absolutely, this is what's happening, like you know. And it's just a little crazy, and it's just funny how they really use black people to be at the forefront of it. You know what I mean? Like you'll have white people that are gay here and there, but they're really using us, the Billy Prestons and all these type of motherfuckers. Like now they're gonna have him every year at the Academy Awards with a new he she dress on, like you know what I mean? Like like. Like, like, if you think about it, the shit with uh, Bruce Jenner, you know, that died out kind of quick. Like, like, he did what he did, never cut his dick off. Um, and you don't hear about him that much anymore. Like, but whenever they always trying to promote a lot of this new alternative lifestyle, they love to use black people as the spokespeople for this shit. And it's because we shape a lot of culture. A lot of people follow our lead. So now when they need us to influence people, that's when they fucking, you know what I mean? Once they don't need us no more, they're going to throw uh, black people to the back of that bus too. 